Let's borrow an old rock and roll lyric. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. Who? Baylor, that's who. The third-ranked Lady Bears rolled to their 16th consecutive victory Monday here at the Farrell Center, defeating Texas 75-58 in a matchup of top 10 teams. Baylor remained tied at the top of the Big 12 standings with Oklahoma. Both teams are 6-0. We're still here. <laughs> you know, Texas was picked to win the league. Um, we're still here. We're not going away. I mean, they look hungry. They look like a team that didn't probably like it because they weren't picked to win the league. Um, I've said all along that they should be picked until someone beats them. This team is, they're, you know, I just tell them all the time, they're too young to know we're not very good, so keep playing. It's just what I tell them, so we just go play. Baylor, which has won four consecutive regular season titles, was picked to finish second behind Texas in the preseason coaches poll. But the eighth-ranked Longhorns are now 3-3 three and three in conference play. And there's more bad news for Texas. Senior Neca and Impali went down screaming in pain after suffering a left knee injury with 5.49 left in the first half. Obviously a tough evening for our team. We don't know, obviously they'll take a look at her tomorrow. It's a concern of ours right now. Yeah, I think it's the evident reality that she's gonna be out for a little bit. I mean, it, it was significant looking enough that I doubt she'll be back tomorrow. Or the next day. And Impali leads the Big 12 in rebounding and is UT's leading scorer at 13 points a game. Nina Davis scored 25 points to lead Baylor. She had just five points in the first 17 minutes of the game, but she scored two run the floor layups during a Baylor 10 0 run at the end of the half that gave the Lady Bears a 35 22 lead. The Longhorns never got the deficit under double figures the rest of the way. Um, just being more aggressive, just changing my mindset. Um, sometimes I had the tendency to get kind of stagnant out there and kind of watch the game go on, but I just have to keep remembering that my team needs me. So in the second half, I just come out with a more, I just came out with a more aggressive mindset. Are you a little amazed you guys are sitting here at 6-0, having won, I guess, 16 in a row with a team that's this young? Heck no, I'm a hell of a coach, man. <laughs> I think a sign of a good coach is adjust yourself and maybe I need to make some adjustments and let these guys do what they do best and play. And I think we've, I've done that. Reporting from Waco for the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.